Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 virtual machine on top of Linux. Uh, so the version of Linux I'm running is Zubuntu. If you haven't got VirtualBox installed, open a terminal window and type sudo apt install VirtualBox and um, that's everything you need for that. Uh, you'll, um, once you've done that, you can launch uh, VirtualBox using um, whichever desktop you're using. Um, so I'm using Zubuntu, so I've got XFCE. Um, I've actually added it to the taskbar at the bottom, but I could also go here and you can see it's under system. So with VirtualBox installed, the next thing to do is go and get Windows 11. Yeah, incidentally, you can see that I've already got a Windows 11 powered off. Um, so I've already done this once. I'm just doing it again um, to show um, you how I did it. So we want Windows 11. Download. And you can go there. The first link. Uh, there's three things you can install, but you want to go down to this uh, Windows 11 disk image. You want to select the download, the multi-edition, and then you're going to click download and then choose the language. So I'll choose English International and then click Confirm. And then you can go for the downloads of 64-bit and it starts downloading in the bottom corner. Uh, if you're using Chrome, if you're using Edge or something else, then uh, it's wherever the downloads for that um, browser go. So um, I'm going to cancel that. I've already got a version of this downloaded and I'm going to close this. Uh, we've got VirtualBox open here. So the first thing you want to do is create new. And if you type Windows 11, it will automatically find Windows 11 there. And we're going to decide where we're putting our um, virtual machine. So I'm going to put it on my SS data. Uh, I've got virtual machines. Uh, I've already got one Windows 11. So I'm going to call this one Win11 Demo. open there so that's where it's going to go uh, click next and it's uh, automatically decided that i need four gig of ram so don't need to do anything there ideally you can do more um you obviously need a machine powerful enough to run windows 11 on top of your host machine so if your host machine is using two gigabytes of ram and you need four gigabytes of ram to run windows then the minimum you need six but ideally eight um that's the way it's going to work uh Create a hard drive. The recommended size is 80 gig, so I'm going to let it do that and dynamically allocate it. And where's it going to go? Um, so in my case, it's going to go in the Windows 10, uh, Windows 11 demo, and in there. So I click Save, and then we're going to click Create. Now, obviously, I've called it the same thing as the other Windows 11. Now, the mistake I've made is obviously call it Windows 11 again. So um, to differentiate, um, the one I've just created is um, four gigabyte of RAM and my original one I've created is six. So I know this is the one I've just created. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go into settings again. I'm going to give it a different name. And that's definitely the one I was using. And you can see it's the Windows 11 demo. So it's definitely the right PC. So now I've called it Windows 11 Demo, I'm going to start it. And it's looking for the um, disk image. So click on this little icon here to the right. I'm going to click. Uh, you can see I've already got Windows 11 in there. So um, if I didn't have that in there, I could click Add, and then I could go and find it. And in my case, it's in the Downloads folder, and you just click that there. Um, but as I've already got it here, I'm just going to click it and do Choose, and then click Start. So what we need to do before we continue, uh, Microsoft put restrictions on Windows 11 that they haven't got on Windows 10. So we have to do a bit of jiggery pokery just to get around those restrictions. So what I'm going to ask you to do is press Shift and F10. And we're going to type in regedit. We're going to go to HP Local Machine System Setup. We're going to create a new key. I'm going to call it Lab Config. Uh, and then right click on that click new d word value 32 bit and we're going to call that bypass tpm all capital letters check 
and we're going to set that to one and then we're going to add another new d word value and we're going to have bypass secure boot check and we're going to call uh, set that to one as so now that's done we can close those windows down we can continue with the installation so uh, choose your language um, time and keyboard and click next and then click install now and the setup is starting will begin uh, you can now enter your product key if you have one um, you will need it at some point to activate your windows um, if you've got it enter it now um, but for now uh, for this purpose I'm going to do I don't and then choose the version one windows 11 home and then accept the license agreement and then you want to choose install windows only choose your drive click next and then uh, the window set will begin just take a while it can go away come back it can take a good half hour this bit eventually it'll reboot and it'll start all this getting ready nonsense and find your devices and um, don't worry continue to wait um, it will happen eventually eventually you get to uh, this screen here this uh, asks you where you are uh, now it's asking for your keyboard layout do I want to add another one? No, I don't. The setup for Windows 11 is a bit easier than Windows 10. Eventually, it'll say checking for updates. Uh, so now give your device a name. I'm going to call this demo. And then we're in the realms of just a moment, which, as we all know, can be just a moment or it could be just a lifetime. So uh, now we're in the sign on bit. So uh, I'm going to sign in. Uh, I'm going to skip this bit so uh, that you don't have to see my sign in details. Uh, now you can create a pin. And then we're in the realms of um, how much you're willing to let Microsoft spy on you. So we're just going to skip through all these. Try and send them as least little information as possible. It's up to you what you choose for these settings. And then it uh, lets you, it says, um, how do you want to customize your experience? I'm not going to select any of them. I'm just going to skip. This is just a demo. Obviously, you choose as you see fit. You can use your phone from your PC. I'm going to skip that. Uh, you can back up your files. But one I'm just going to save the files to PC. And then do you want to sign up for seven ninety nine a month? No, I don't. We did Windows become such our adware, by the way. Uh, it just continuously advertises at you, as well as um, harvest your data. Now we're in checking for updates. I'm going to let that happen. Again, you can take a little break. The only thing about installing Windows is that it asks for some information takes ages to do something, then ask for a bit more information. So it's not like you can walk away for the whole process and come back and it's all working because it just asks you for more information as it goes along. Uh, we're now in the realms of um, this is getting your PC ready. This may take a few minutes, etc. Um, let's not say it might take a few minutes. Let's just say it will take a few minutes. Um, and here we have it. We have Windows 11 installed. Now, if I go into full screen mode, you'll see it doesn't go full screen. So there's, there's a little bit more work to be done yet. And I'll show you how to solve that now. So under devices, we're going to insert the guest additions image. And because we're using Linux, it just does it. We don't have to go looking for it. And then we go to File Explorer. Uh, we're going to go to the D drive. And then we're going to look for the VBox Editions and Windows Editions application. Double click that. 
going to need to minimize this window. Choose yes. And then we're going to, uh, when you see the setup window, you're going to click next. Going to click next again, and then you're going to click install. And we're going to let it reboot. I'm going to log in. And what we need to do now is under the view menu, we're going to click the adjust window size. Uh, we're going to click the full screen mode. Ah, well, you'll see this auto resize guest display, uh, display has come up. So you need to tick that and then go full screen mode. And there you can see uh, we have a full screen Windows 11 running on a Linux host. And that is the end of the video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User. Thank you for watching.